Alright. What's up, guys? Told you we we're gonna review the W.E. Thompson, so that's what we're doing today. Uh, gonna go over simple field stripping, uh, barrel assembly, show the whole hop up unit, and uh, overall structure of the gun. I don't have any experience on actually fielding it yet because I can't play at the moment, but hopefully sooner than later I'll be able to return. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So first things first you want to do, make sure your gun's full auto, make sure it's in fire. The firing sear is uh, on these kind of get in the way when you're trying to get the upper receiver off. So, first things first, you're pressing a button right under here, under the back of the receiver. And you gotta, gotta pull the trigger halfway as well while you're doing it. There you go. And pop up that easy. So you can see here, upper, lower. You see the whole trigger hammer assembly right here comes in two prongs. I uh, don't have a magnet on me, but when I did, these were steel right here, and I think as well as this piece, but if you look here, if this was in safe and single, this kind of sits a little too high, and it won't go back down, but in fire and semi, they're both low, and you could actually use a trigger to keep it even. But as far as that goes, next thing you want to do, pull out the charging handle, pull it about to right the little crevice right there, and you push it downwards, and you should just pull it out, just like that. And get the bolt carry out, it's fairly simple. Just press in, pull it out, just like that. Alright, come on, buddy. Or not. Usually I do it this way, but it's a little more difficult. Alright, there you go. This little piece stays back here. That way your spring guide just stay in place. Then you have the bulk hair and the spring guide right here. Bulk hair is fairly light. I think it's only about 12 ounces or so. Um, but no, overall pretty nice, pretty nice design, there's not a lot of room as you can see here, it's not wobbling side to side, it's only going forward and backwards, it's all it can go, uh, spring guide's pretty beefy, it's uh, <laughs> you can see there, alright, next up here, I'm gonna take out the whole, uh, barrel assembly out with hop up and everything, Yeah, I got the thing kind of tied in there. <laughs> Jesus. There we go. And pop that out. And then you have access to the entire hop assembly right there. And there's a little wheel on top. Almost like a scar, but not really. Same kind of concept, Scar G36, all those variants. You just pull this out? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. You just pull the unit out, you can change the inner barrel bucking. Yeah, I might as well do that right now. I already have it out, right? So, why not? standard, nothing crazy here. Hop up bar, hop up nub. 
Nothing new. Stop bucking. Goodbye. Oh, that was a fail. Woo. New Maple Leaf Autobot. Going in. Okay, that did nothing. There we go. Oh, I could open it from the bottom, but I wanted to be more complicated, I guess. Alright, here we are. Clean off the barrel a little bit. I think it's musty, man. I'm gonna clean the inside of it too. Uh, with the Autobot bucking on there. Make sure the ridge lines up with the. Ah! Make sure the ridge on the barrel lines up with the buck in here. Slide that bitty on. There we go. Make sure the nub is engaging. I think it's squeezing a little more on there. You don't want to put it too much. Press it too much in. I don't really ever put these on, but yeah, I'm pretty lazy. I don't really ever put them on, and my guns always work fine. <laughs> yeah, now we throw this on. There we go. Hop up. Okay, I am not a fan of this hop up arm design because the ridge or the the part that goes into the actual hop up unit in this part it should be, be flip flop so you can fit this in with the ridge on the side there. See? That is all weird. This damn thing. I think it's easy to do it like this too. Am I putting it in the wrong? Oh, I'm dumb. I was going to say, you always put it like this too. Put that in, put that in, da da da. put the nub in horizontal. I should have screwed in the hop up unit first. Yeah, why don't I do that first? There we go. Oh, stop it. There we go. It's always hard to get it all the way tight again on these hop up units because of how small the Phillips are. There we go, it won't work better. Nope, I think I'm stripping it. Yep. And be careful too, you never want to strip it. up with this right here that goes down and you just slide it on back in yeah first time doing that so I had no idea really what I was doing <laughs> but pretty simple as it gets Oh my, 
Do I already have it out? I do. Jesus, I'm burnt. I need an Allen key. Nope, not three. Two and a half. Yeah, there we go. Two and a half. screw am I missing something oh that's probably what I do I put it on first see I'm all over the place when I do this stuff completely forgetting this stuff man <laughs> gotta put the Put in the upper receiver first, dummy. There we go. <laughs> I was so confused. Okay, that is just god awful. Where the heck is the tip for this? Alright, I guess we're using that. I'll get it. Oh my lord. Lord have mercy. Why is this so freaking tight, dude? There we go. Make sure it's tight so you have no barrel wobble. Oh, Jesus. We'll carry back in. That part back in. Shove the string right in just like that. Let's press it in. Put it on. And yeah, slide it on just like this. If it was a lot. There we go. Easy peasy, right? Except for this part. There we go. So that's about it for the field <laughs> field stripping, taking out the barrel, changing out the bucking. Uh, cool thing about these, you can—they are like the real Thompsons. They do have an open bolt system, and they don't engage, or they don't. Uh, yeah, your bolt doesn't engage until you pull the actual trigger, which will release it forward. Let's see here. Um, another cool aspect is when you're out of ammo, if you're wondering how that works, if you run out of ammo, right, you can't shoot it. If you need a dry fire, or if you, if you want a dry fire, there's a little button right here, a little switch, that way you can actually mess with it a little bit. So, so far the overall structure and design of the gun I do enjoy. It's pretty, pretty tight and you can't really move it too much. OEM stock, it does come with plastic grips uh, and stock. This, this one I got the KY Airsoft kit for the real wood. Um, and I haven't, I can't give you a full honest opinion yet since I haven't used it, but so far, just messing with it and seeing the range and everything, it's it's not bad. For a uh, 350, so a green tag and undergun, I'm pretty happy with it. And no one really runs these two, it's the best part. Uh oh, what did I do here? <laughs> but, oh, there we go, that's why. Spring popped out. But yeah, 
that's about it. Um, can't recommend it for anyone yet, but me personally, I do enjoy it. And I am pretty in love with this gun right now. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next gun, all right?